What's up everybody? Today, we're gonna look into what might be one of the best home machines. For sure, the best beginner machine out there for under $1,000. Oh, the Breville Barista Express Impress is the machine I would buy if I'm looking for a machine sub 1000 or I'm just trying to get into coffee. So let's get into it. Oh my God, all right. The Breville Barista Express Impress with no porta filter. All right, the Breville Barista Impress is one of the dopest home machines out there especially for sub $1,000. I think you can get this for around $719. Don't at me if it's more later. I don't know, don't get mad at me. So I say this is the best all-in-one home espresso machine for beginners or if you're just trying to make coffee at home easily. And what do I mean by all-in-one? This machine has a grinder. This machine brews espresso. Also tamps your coffee beans with this crazy little plunger that they have designed. And it's pretty dope, to be honest. So if you're familiar with the Breville Barista Express, it was one of the most popular machines Breville has ever made. It still probably is the most popular machine. It has the built-in grinder. The only thing it doesn't have is a few key features that we're gonna go over as we get through this video. All right, let's talk features. You have a 54 millimeter portafilter. It also comes with a single basket, and then it comes with two pressurized baskets in case you wanna do like a pre-ground coffee or perhaps even a lighter coffee. I don't usually use those. Those scare me. I just push them away, <laughs> forget about them. Whew. So one of the main things this has that is different from its predecessor is this built-in tamping system. So this slides off right here. You can see you push down this little lever and a tamp kind of just folds under and tamps your coffee. This is awesome because coffee relies on consistency and a lot of issues come from human error. So with this, you just push down. It says to push it down twice. For sure do that. If you don't, you got some little schmutz on the on the, the puck, which nobody wants, the schmutzy pucks. But along with that, you have this intelligent dose right here. So you take your portafilter, put it in there. Once that's in there, push the dose button. It'll start to grind for you. Just wait, it's not the fastest, you know, but it's still solid. Okay, tells you to tamp. So as you see, this is lower. You can't see it probably, but there's three little lights right here that say it's under. So it's asking me to dose again. So I'm gonna hit that dose button one more time and it's going to calculate how much more needs to be put in there. Bam, green light. So we got the green light. We're set there. Hit it twice just to make sure we have a good clean puck. And there you go. I mean, it looks, it looks pretty solid in terms of tamping. I'm all about it. Put this back in here. Ugh, tighten it up. Grab your espresso cup, <laughs> throw it in there, and then you have two volumetric buttons. We're gonna hit that first one. No, I haven't programmed it. No idea, I just pulled this thing out of the box. Just wait for the brown brown to fall, baby. Here it comes. Woo, it's a little quick. I probably should have measured this, but we can maybe do a let's dial in with the barista impress later, but Kind of just going over features, letting you know what we think about the overall machine right now. It's coming out a little watery. I'm definitely not gonna try this. It looks like trash water. And that's no fault to Breville, it's just me. It's a little watery. It's hard to dial in from the back of a machine. We also have a steam wand here. The steam wands on the Breville's, especially these smaller ones, they're a little slow. Not to say they won't work. They will 100% work for everything you need them to do. They're just gonna take a little longer than a dual boiler machine or just a boiler machine in general. This machine does not have a boiler. It actually has a thermo block. So there's a coil or thermo coil, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Everybody's, everybody's got their own thermo thing. It's thermo and it's dope. It's basically a little, little coil that flash heats water as it runs through. So you're not waiting for, for things to heat up. It's just instant. With that, you do lose a little bit of the pressure with the steam wand. It's not crazy, but I mean, if you're just making one or two drinks in the morning for you and you or somebody else, then it's gonna be fine. It's pretty easy to steam on, but there we go. There we go, we're getting consistent here. It's getting harder. Really putting out a lot of pressure there. Pretty wet, but I mean, it's a under a thousand dollar machine, so can't imagine it being too good, you know? Definitely dries out as it goes but you're still getting some pretty, oh yeah, it's pretty dry once it gets going. Pretty dry in the steam. 
department. You also have a hot water tap. If you move this backwards, it'll just start spitting out hot water. I guess it comes out of the top. I had no idea. We just made a mess. We just made a mess. Those are the general overviews of this machine. You have the grinder with the 25 steps. You have the impress little tamper thing, which is actually super cool. Um, you have the intelligent dosing system. Then it has a precision memory, which remembers how much coffee was ground into the portafilter to make sure you can get as consistent as possible. Cons on this, lighter coffees you are gonna have to play with a little more. You're gonna have to potentially use the pressurized basket, which isn't the end of the world. It's just gonna take some time to play with. I've noticed that the dosing, when you change grinds, there can be inconsistencies, and this is super nerdy warning. If you're trying to get a 19 gram dose in and you coarsen up the grind, there's a chance it's going to dose two grams more, so you just need to be paying attention that that could happen. It's not the end of the world. We can fix anything. Just pull a little coffee out afterwards. For under $1,000, under $800 right now, this thing is solid. I would buy this in a second and I would make so many tasty beverages in my home and it would just make me dream of a better time when everything was fun and nothing mattered. I have this love for Breville. I think it's one of the best home espresso brands. I think they're killing the game. That's Breville, I don't know. Tell me if you wanna see some other stuff. We have this machine in our training room, so we are going to be doing a bunch of stuff with it. We will do a how to dial in video, how it stacks up to the Mavom 2 group. Yeah, have a great day. Thank you for watching. Woo!